Hello and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a very simple program that we have right here, which takes a PDF and converts it into a JPEG. It's a very simple application. All you have to do is select whatever your PDF is, open it up and select where you would like to save it to. So new test, we're going to save it as that, hit save. And as you can see, we now have that PDF saved as a JPEG. All right, go ahead, stick around to the end of the video. I will show you how to obtain this product if you would like it and how to get an even more robust version of the product if you would like. So to start our program off, we're going to be using Video Studios and we're going to be using VisualBasic.net or VB.net for our framework. We also want to select our framework as being 4.6.2 because that is going to have the frameworks that we need. And I'm going to go ahead and hit create. So this is going to give us a blank Windows form that we have right here. There's a few things I want to add to this. So first off, I'm going to go into toolbox. We are going to add in a label. We're going to add in a dex box. We are also going to add in a button. All right, so this is going to be our program. So this is going to be PDF file. this over here and let's make this button right there as browse it's gonna be a very simple program we're not going to do much with it just be this okay so the first thing we want to do let's go ahead and open this up and add in some code for browsing for a file but now, a word from our sponsors. In actuality, that was a complete lie. We don't have any sponsors. But what we do have is a very underwhelming amount of people that have subscribed to us. In fact, we have less than 1% of our viewership that has subscribed to us. What does that mean? Well, that means that we do have quality content because we have a vast majority of people actually watching our content. But we have such few subscribers that we don't get compensated for it. If we had 100% subscription to our channel, we would have over 200,000 subscribers at this point today. So go ahead and subscribe to us. We don't post often, but when we do, we make sure that it's quality stuff that you can actually use. Go ahead, subscribe to us. Thank you all very much. And we'll get right back to the video. Okay, so inside of here, we have a very simple program. It's, I think it's like 75 lines of code. Let's see. Actually, it's less than that, 65 lines of code. So we have the simple imports of system. We don't really even need that because everything that we have down here is referencing the system anyway. But whenever we first open up the program, what it's going to ask for is for you to browse for your PDF document. You go ahead and click that. You can see we're first going to go into load doc sub, which is right here. Basically, it asks you to select whatever PDF you want. And if it finds a PDF where you click OK and you do actually select a PDF, it is going to update the text box with that PDF link. From there, it is going to go down and it's going to ask you to save your JPEG files somewhere. So it's going to convert all the pages of the PDF into JPEGs for you. If you select to save the document, then it's going to go down to export to JPEG, which is right here. From here, it's going to give us a waiting cursor so we can wait and we see the program is working. Then it's going to go down here. It's going to take the full path from the PDF that you selected. It's going to loop through every page. It's going to save it at a 300 DPI picture, which is right here. And it's going to save it to your location with the page number. It is then going to check the next page. And if the page is valid and it knows that it's there, 
then it's going to go on to the next page until there is no valid page at which point it's going to exit the loop and then it's going to turn the cursor back to normal and then it's going to open the location so that is all completed in 65 lines of code now there is one thing that we need to add which is right here this is a nugget package that we are going to look up and we're going to add to our project and how you do that you go up to project inside of visual or inside of visual studios go down to manage nugget packages and then you go to browse we are going to paste in freeware.pdf to png and as you can see it is right here this is an MT or MIT license basically means it is completely free you can use it any way that you want to use it and we're going to go ahead and install this in our project and as you can see our error has went away we can go back to our project and it is now linked in there correctly let's go ahead and run our project and see if it works we have a new window right here go to browse and we are going to select a six page PDF which I'm actually going to delete this folder we do not need that folder anymore and we're going to make a new folder so I think this one is you know what let's just do a four page PDF there we go so this is a four page PDF go ahead and open that it's going to ask us where we want to save it again we're making a new folder so new folder right here and we want to save each one of these images as test so it's going to say test the page number dot jpeg and hit save and it's going to work and there we have it so now we have every one of our four pages in a jpeg so let's go ahead open that up as you can see right here we have four pages of the pdf in the jpeg so as i mentioned i was going to show you how you can obtain this project and it's very easy the description is down below it is also available on our free product page now if you would like to have an application that is more robust than this then what i can suggest to you is our product known as pdf gt which does the exact same thing but it has more functions and features so for instance you can export all these pages at once you can add more pages to it you have an ocr box which will allow you to take all the text that are in this document for instance this right here if i would like to convert all this over into a text just ocr the page or i can ocr a picture on it and it will take all the text and convert it over for me into a text document so as you can see right here we have the text up there it's reading the document and it's converting it over to text so yeah pretty simple application if you'd like to support us you can purchase this product if you would just like to have the free product which we have right here you can also get that you can write your own version of it and if you would like to use the PDF GT application, but you don't want to purchase it, the trial version will support all the features up to five pages inside of a PDF. Also linked in the description down below. Thank you all very much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Have a great rest of your day. Hi, I'm Kyle, owner and operator of Great Technical. Thank you all so much for making it at this point in the video. And if you are here, go ahead, like, and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot, and it lets me know that the content I'm making is stuff that you all like to see. Go ahead, leave us a comment as well. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in the future, or if you have any future updates that you would like to have included in our products in the future. I would also like to say that being a company owner, I am very proud to be able to support businesses and students. I am also extremely proud to be able to support content creators. So if you have a content platform, you make videos, or if you have a blog and you would like to reuse some of our content, or if you would like to review some of our products, go ahead and send me an email. My email is right here, support at greattechnical.com. Get in contact with me. We can see what we can get worked out. And until next time, thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day.